Everyone happy? Ready? Guys? Yeah. Okay. Ja. Die Situation ist sehr schwierig für uns, nicht zu wissen, was mit Tanja passiert ist. Wir geben die Hoffnung, niemals auf, Tanja Leben zu finden. Wir trauen mit Markus Familie und Freunden. Unsere Gedanken sind bei Ihnen. Wir haben Marco als einen wundervollen Vater, Freund und hilfsbereite Person kennenlernen dürfen. Wir sind sehr konzentriert um das Wohl und die Zukunft der zwei Zone. Unsere erste Priorität ist eher Wohlgehen. Dafür wollen wir mit Hilfe von Markus' Familie und Freunden sorgen. Wir danken der australischen Polizei und allen, und allen Hilfen, Soweit der Commissioner für Victims' Rights bei der Suche nach Tanja und für die gesamte persönliche Unterstützung, die wir erfahren durften. Wir fühlen uns nicht alleine und erhalten Unterstützung in allen Bega Belangen. Wir bitten höflich unsere Privatsphäre in dieser für uns schweren Zeit zu respektieren und möchten keinerlei weitere Statements abgeben. It's very hard not knowing what happened to Tanya. We do not feel hopeless. It is our hope to find Tanya alive and well. We also grieve for Michael Burden. His family are in our thoughts and our hearts. We are devastated for them. We knew Michael as a wonderful father, a good friend and a sociable person. We worry about Tanya's and Michael's two young sons who are true victims of this tragedy. Their well-being is our utmost priority. With Michael's family, we share in their future. We want to express our sincere gratitude to all of the help provided by police and others in our quest to find Tanya. They and the Commissioner for Victims' Rights have treated us with compassion and, by helping bring us to South Australia, have ensured that we are not suffering alone. We ask you to respect our privacy and allow us time and space to come to terms with what has happened we will not be making any further comment. Thank you. Question to Greg or Michael, please. Greg, can you fill us in on what the latest is, whatever you can tell us today? Uh, look, the search obviously continues in the far north um, today. Anyone who's been there is a vast area. Look, we're throwing every resource we can at the location. Look, we'll continue to assess what we're doing up there. Look, and we certainly can't rule out further searches if we don't have any success today. Do you believe that is a resting place for the property? Look, it, it, it is very difficult uh, to know. You know, we would, you know, seek from the public any information that may help us find her last resting place. But it's an area that we obviously need to do thoroughly and make sure that we've ticked all the possible locations that she may have been um, put, laid to rest up there. Uh, look, we've had a number of calls uh, to crime stoppers. Any um, investigation of this magnitude will always uh, attract a number of calls. There hasn't been many specifically relating to the sightings, no. Do you have any information that is causing you to focus specifically in the property, or is there still a possibility that things could have happened between where she was last seen and, and the property? Oh, look, we can't rule out anything at, at this point in time. Um, um, obviously, as I said at the start, you know, we will do whatever we can to try and find her for the family. Um, but um, as I said earlier, you know, it's a, it's a, a huge state. Uh, it's a vast do you, property. Do you have information that they've had made it back to the property together? Uh, look, I don't particularly want to go into what we do know about the investigation at this point of time. Look, there's still a murder investigation underway. We do know some things which do help us. Um, but yeah, not for public comment at this particular time. How much longer will you, will you stay up there searching? 
Uh, look, they'll be there um, all today. Uh, most likely, once I've spoken to Superintendent Bray, uh, the decision we made, they'll probably return sometime tomorrow because we obviously have to think of the location and our people and the resourcing. And obviously, we would come back, reassess what we've done, seek you know, further um, help from other government agencies and make other decisions whether it's, um, we need to return up there at some point in the future. Any questions by my so Michael, you've obviously been playing a key role here. Um, can you tell us what, how you're helping the family, what's been going on over the last couple of weeks? Well, South Australia is unique to any other place um, that I'm aware of in the world. We're able to not only assist our citizens who become victims of crime overseas, but also people from other countries who become victims of crime uh, in our state. Um, I have to say I'm extremely proud to be a South Australian, and uh, this is what the Victims of Crime Fund exists for, is to be able to help people in such tragic circumstances. Uh, we've been able to bring the family here and to keep them for a period of time in order to ensure that they understand that we are compassionate people and that we feel uh, a great deal of sense, um, sensitivity and sympathy for the circumstances they now find themselves in. And we'll do everything reasonable we can to ensure uh, the future of the children as well. Well, uh, hope uh, is the essence of the, the future for um, not just um, Andrew and York, but any other person who finds themselves in a situation where a loved one has gone missing. Uh, that unresolved grief of itself can be overwhelming. Um, and I might add uh, that um, the, the, the sorts of things that we, um, we, we do sometimes without thinking uh, clearly about uh, being empathetic and sympathetic can actually add to that burden and make things difficult, which is one of the reasons why I just want to stress that uh, this is the one and only time that uh, they will be appearing before the media. And I, I do ask uh, that you contribute, as we have done uh, uh, as South Australians, to pay them respect uh, for the dig dignity of this family and giving them an opportunity to grieve uh, and to grieve the way they want to. Uh, that, that's a matter of choice for them. Uh, it's, it's not my job to make decisions for them. It, it's my job to ensure that um, if they have a need, that we will do what we reasonably can to ensure that that's met. Have you had any discussions with Michael Burns family? Uh, not at this stage, but I have extended to them um, and also to others who are caring for the children uh, that I will assist if that becomes necessary. Just on that care of the children, are they likely to stay here in Australia indefinitely? Or what, what's going to happen to them? Uh, that's a matter for two families to resolve and, and not, not for me. Thanks, Sergeant John. Thank you very much for your patience. Thank you.